In this question, the function f from r to x belongs to r, where r x varies from minus to one to one. So here x, which is belongs to minus one to one, right, open bracket. And the definition of the function fx is equal to x over one plus x. And we need to prove the function is both one, one and onto. Now to do so, what I'll do is first, let's say if I write down the function fx as fx is x over one plus mod x. Now, if I talk about this mod x, what do you know about uh, this modulus function? Let's say if I write, uh, break this modulus function, this modulus function, as you must be aware, for a value x greater than or equal to zero, for zero, and for other positive value, it is x only. And for x less than zero, for negative, it is minus x. Now, if I rewrite this function, we have two cases. Case one, when x is greater than or equal to zero, that is case this, say case one, what we can see here, for x greater than or equal to zero, now the function fx, this function, will be x will be as it is, as there is no mod in the numerator, plus mod of x for x greater than or equal to zero is x. So we can say here that is going to be fx as x over one plus x. Now case two, when x is less than zero, for x is less than zero, fx, as there is no mod in the numerator, will be x only, this, plus one, one plus mod of x, and we know that mod x for x less than zero is minus x. So I'm going to write minus x here instead of plus x. Now we have uh, split this function into two interval. Now, first of all, in order to prove this as one, one, you must be very clear. I'm going to take the case one, when case one, I'm doing one, one as of now. Case one, when x is greater than equal to zero, what we can see that here, this is the case one. Let's say fx1 is equal to fx2. So I can replace x1. So it's going to be x1 over one plus x1 is equal to x2 over one plus x2. Now I'll do cross multiplication. So what we'll get here, we'll get x1 plus x1 into x2. Let me write down the proper steps. I'm doing cross multiplication here. This is x2 multiplied by one plus x2. Now if I open the bracket, I'll get x1 plus x1 x2 distributive property and x2 plus x1 x2. So what do we see here clearly? This is cancelled. So we get x1 is equal to x2. Now this is 1, 1. Now, before we do the second part, let me make some space here. Now I'm going to the, do the second part. In the second part, that is case two, when x is less than zero. So when x is less than zero, our function, let's say if I write, let fx1 is equal to fx2. So x1, fx1, if I replace in equation two here, I'm going to get this as x1 over one minus x1 is equal to x2 over one minus x2. Now same way, if I do cross multiplication, it is one minus x2 is equal to x2 multiplied by one minus x1. Now, if I open the bracket, it is x1 minus x1 x2 is equal to x2 minus x1 x2. Now, what do you realize here that uh, opposite side, x minus x1 x2 and minus x1 x2 get cancelled. So we get, we get x1 is equal to x2. So we'll say hence 1 1. 
So we proved one one in both the cases of this. Now in order to do onto, so we have proved one one, and now I am going to prove the onto now. So we have already proved one one. Now for the two cases we are going to prove onto. So let's say if I take the case one, say case one here. So we'll for case one we are going to take let y now we have case one where x is greater than equal to zero i'll assume this fx as y fx is equal to y so if i do so what we'll get i'm replacing this fx with y so i'm going to get y is equal to x over one plus x now with cross multiplication i'll get y plus y x this I'm doing so because I'm going to write X in terms of Y. So clearly Y is equal to X minus Y X. And if I take uh, X as common here, I'll get one minus Y and this side it is Y. So clearly X is equal to Y divided by one minus Y. Now what you need to check here that so you can see that for Y, any real number other than one, right? Y must belong to the codomain. If I take Y as any real number, which is greater than or equal to zero, or we can say that other than one, right? Here one, except for y, y is equal to one, right? We are getting X as a real number, right? So we can see that here the range is equal to the Codomain. As I can see here, that except for y is equal to 1, right? Except for y is equal to 1, as you can say it, th that here y is equal to 1 is not included. So except for y is equal to 1, we are getting x as a real number. So we can say that here the range is equal to codomain. Range is equal to codomain, and therefore it is on top. Now, in order to prove for the second part, the case to onto or case to onto case two is when x is less than zero now if i write this function let's say let fx is equal to y as same as the previous case i'm going to write replace this fx with y so it turns out to be y is equal to x over one minus x We'll do cross multiplication again so it's y minus y x is equal to x so y is equal to x plus x y so i can isolate y i mean x sorry it's one plus y and therefore x is equal to y over one plus y now you can see that uh, since y belongs to since y belonging to minus one to one, right? Here, uh, this is minus one to one, right? As you know, y belonging from minus one to one, we are getting x as a real number. Therefore, here yeah, the range is equal to codopain. And therefore, we send, hence it is an onto. So we have proved this function as one one as well as onto so a function which is both injective as well as subjective is called bijective